So a bit of background, Moodle is a platform where lecturers put course materials up, basically a, a, a web page where all your stuff is, all the PDFs and all the assignment info. So to see what's on Keats, students have to log in a billion times a day to keep checking if anything new popped up, if anything got posted on the forum, if any of the old files got updated and they need to see the latest version. So they don't want to do that and that's typically a big frustration for them. So they want something like a difference tool, something to see the latest version of whatever was put on Keith. So we thought of making a feed for them because students tend to like Facebook generally, right? So we made this look a bit like a Facebook feed where we have timestamped changes of anything that happened on Keith. Uh, if, if a file got uploaded, if a file got modified, if somebody posted an assignment or a comment on a forum. So uh, we can show you uh, a demo of it right now. We, we can uh, demonstrate that it's functional and that it's going to update itself if something changes. Yeah, so, so, so we've actually integrated this with our university's Moodle system. So every time a lecturer uploads a slide or a new post or an announcement, it, com it shows up in this feed. So all you have to do is check, check, check your app or the web app. This works with both phone and desktop. Um, so all you have to do is check, check the feed, and you can see if what's new in a very, in, in a very concise way. Okay. So if we have time during Q and A, we can do the thing that um, we can show how it uploads a new thing whenever something. Oh yeah. So, so this, so this is actually yeah. connected. It's, it's, it's connected to Keith right now, so we can so make a little. Yeah, so, so if I refresh the page now, you should see an update, an update. So you can, there's, there's, there's an interest. Yeah. So it's linked, it's up there, it's on right now. Uh, what The other thing we try to do during the day is link it to a Pebble smartwatch to buzz you whenever something gets put up on Keats because you're a busy student and you want to get buzzed whenever there's new course materials up, don't you? <laughs> uh, we, we left that for future work because the Pebble is really exciting and we think it might catch on. Um, what else did I put in there? <laughs> I think the next slide is just a screenshot. And, okay. Oh yeah, and this is, I don't know, if you want to say a couple of words in the last few seconds about... Let's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't words. want to wait for the whistle. Right. Okay, we can stop here. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Yay. Goes again all feeds from the or do you filter it from just the courses you want? Uh, oh, so yeah, so you actually filter it from courses here. Yeah, so that's you can filter courses, you can filter the exact courses you want from here. So yeah. So you can actually filter it by course as well. Are you thinking of designing it so that I can select, okay, I'm interested in these five courses and designing my own custom feed? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. That's the plan. Yeah, this is just some, this is what we built in three hours, but there's so much it has there's so much more you can add on to this. Like you could for example add like a comment section underneath where students can comment on each post, or you could add like an upvote button where, where students can upvote the most relevant posts so that all the relevant stuff is folded up to the top. So that a student doesn't have to waste their time going to the entire key, key website to look at what's relevant to their student. Right. Which other university uses these models? I mean, King's played it with the key to use it, but is anybody else? Um, I know that UCL uses it and Imperial uses it. Okay. I don't I know anybody in the UK, but Romania uses yeah. it as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's pretty exactly. Okay. The vast majority of ethnic colleges use it. It's easier. Could you reverse that? Could you make something useful for teachers as well? Because I hate the system, to say the least. So if I could, you know, I hate logging yeah. in there. Yeah, so, so this could actually be integrated. Um, and so, for example, on Keats or Moodle, we have a, a new section, a new a forum for students where students can post feedback and questions. So this can actually be integrated with the uh, student forum as well. So far, I've only integrated with the Star Forum where they actually post updates. Yeah. But if I, if I integrate yeah. this, I can easily integrate it with the user forum yeah. where you actually get updates from users as well. That's very useful, actually. Very good.
So you, what's the plan now? What, what do you need to make this real? Um, well, you have to actually, well, this is, right now this is um, a local app that's linked to my, my personal piece um, account. So all I have to do is make it add the option for everyone to log in using their own email password, which is which is really pretty simple. And also add, add the other features like the commenting and like make it more Facebook like. Brilliant. Very good.